my friend, your girl here, Miss Natural, is bringing to you another Tech Talk video. In this video, I'm going to be replacing my MacBook Pro. This is a Retina screen, which is a 2015 uh, A5102. And actually, it fell on the kitchen floor. And look, screen is just blank. However, I know that it does work because I was able to uh, connect it with an HDMI cord and it was able to work on my monitor. And so um, the screen is just blank. As you can see, well, you cannot see that the light is on. Yeah, you see the light is on, but the screen is blank. So I know that I needed a replaceable. Um, so here I have my tools also to replace it. I have a six piece precision um, screwdriver set. And I also have a couple other uh, pieces that will be able to help me uh, to replace my screen. So here is the screen that I bought the replaceable. It's actually brand new. And I made sure that the model was the same so that I don't encounter any problem. So I wanna share with you how I was able to do it. And uh, if you do like this video, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're brand new to this channel here. From time to time, I always say that I bring flavors on this channel. It's not only about tech, but I do a little of everything. And that's what just make me special. I know oftentimes we supposed to be uh, focusing on a specific niche, but this channel is not about that. I am bringing flavors, different thing, tech talk, my Christianity. Uh, also, you know, my family, thing of that nature. And I just bring flavors, put it like that. But let's get into it right now. I don't want to talk off your ears because if you allow me to, I will. Like, I will, right? So let's get popping. Miss oh. Naturally. So as you can see, I'm going to um, start off by flipping uh, the MacBook Pro and I'm going to be screwing off the screws uh, that are within the MacBook. I'm using a T5 uh, screwdriver to take these out. I'm not so good at my tools term and that's because I don't use them every day. So just in case, you know, I may not be saying something right. I mean, if you know it or you're a pro, you can actually, uh, you know, let me know. But um, I'm not so good at my tools. But yeah, uh, between the T5 and the T3, I believe, is what I was using to screw out uh, the screws out of the MacBook Pro. So just make sure all your screws are together. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and pull it off the back part of it. And I, you know, I had to be very delicate because I could be very rough at times. And if you're doing this, you want to be able to be as gentle with the, um, with each of the cable cords, I guess. <sighs> yeah. Um, as I pulled this off, it was so much dust too so um yeah i had to be careful so right here i'm taking off the cover for the screws um on each side it's a little rubbly screw cover what i realized was that some of these screwdrivers weren't working that well for me so i ended up had to go for like my backup t screwdrivers that i had and this one did the job for me it did open it up so um, make sure you have the right tools because I encountered that. I thought some of these were going to work, 
uh, mainly what I had worked, but just a very few was like given a problem. I don't know if it's because it was not the right size or maybe those one were a bit cheap. So yeah, these worked for me. So basically this part is what support the cover from um, latching so that it doesn't fall off and that you can see I'm unscrewing it to slide it out of the um, that's the main reason why I had to unscrew that area so I can uh, detach the cover. So the next step here, as you can see, I'm trying to detach uh, some of the cable that was on it. This is like a latch and I had to be very careful because um, it's very delicate. So there's a piece of like tape there and I was trying to like pull it off. I went ahead and pulled too much right there. This part is not, uh, I mean, it's fixable because it's a rubbery area, but um. So there were three small um, little cable that was here and I had to take my time and pull them off so I can snap it back on at a later time. And the tape is here that I had to remove to take it out of a latch. And um, I had to be very delicate doing it because um, you can easily uh, spoil uh, these cable and then it would be a big mess trying to get them to replace so pretty much I just detach those so a main important part that you also have to do is just take a picture of it so that you know what was there before so uh, right here to the side I'm gonna be detaching the 40 pin connector then I had to use that blue tool that I had here to try to lift it a little bit uh, it was a little bit um tedious for me because I didn't want to mess up anything but you know I got it I uh, pulled it off after I used the uh, blue tool to um, lift it a bit so as you can see I was able to detach those cord and the cover as well and I'm gonna lift it a little bit now because um, being that I uh, detach all of those cords that I needed to um, so as you can see that there was uh, another piece that I had to screw off in which I overlooked so I had to like get back to it and um, screw that part off but the minute I did um, you know I was able to continue the job that area as well there was the screw that support the um, the screen as well so it was like both were there I'm not exactly sure what was um, like what purpose it served but for some reason um, it was there and um, I had to screw that off as well and with that for that it was only one screw on each side but yeah also don't forget to know uh, which side it belonged because for me I thought I messed that up I put them together and as a result of that I believe that was caused the problem um, when it was time for me to put it back on I was kind of struggling a little bit because of that so try your best not to mix up the screws whichever side you detach uh, that object from make sure you separate it so I went again in and tried to detach it and I was moved, kind of shaking it a little bit from side to side. For some reason, I did detach the cables. So yeah, I just kept struggling right there. I think one other cord would kind of tape uh, somewhere on it. So I ended up had to like pull it a little bit, but nothing went wrong. It's just that I probably um, overlooked that part and I didn't pull it off properly off the the tape like and 
as you can see, I'm, I may be taking my time because I want to make sure I'm doing it the right way, you know, as opposed to uh, speeding up the process, you know. And um, so this is the new screen and I'm going to be uh, taking the tape off. You know, as I go along the way, I will have to take my time to kind of learn the um, the tools, the name of the tools. But so far, I was using more of like between the T, um, like the T5, the T6, and and a couple screws. No, so let me. I'm glad I was able to get like the whole screen though and not the the LCD part because this make it much easier to replace as opposed to um, you know doing it the um, the LCD way I heard it's much more complicated and so I'm not at that level yet where you know I can master these things but I was able to Let me, so I'm taking off the, um, let's just go back to work and stop talking. So I'm just, let me just remove this for now, put this over here. You have to try to be careful because these things are very delicate. So with this tool I am using, honestly, it seemed it worked as a pliers, but it really wasn't. It, this came from my nail set yeah have to be creative right i just couldn't find the proper pliers so i did use this and it really did the job so what i ended up doing was to pull that area um about a 90 degree angle because i wanted to make sure i can snap it back onto the body so um that's what i had to do to pull it, it was very hard to move i tried my hand before but that didn't work so I know that I needed the pliers to um, pull it. So as you can see, this is the body area. And um, oh yeah, my keyboard cover fell off. Yeah. 
so um also it was kind of dusty too so if you can clean it before i made sure i went ahead and i cleaned mine but um yeah a lot of dust sometimes fall into these um pc or laptop whichever one you call it so um i'm gonna try my best now to apply the cover on top and i had to pretty much do the same thing that i had did before which is to kind of slide it um back from i think the right from the left It was a bit awkward too, but hey, you know, whenever you're new to something, I believe everything just feel awkward, I guess. So I just end up and I flip it around and doing so, this is what's going to help me to screw back in the, um, the handle for the cover yeah as you can see i was trying my best to turn it around so then you can see as i'm demonstrating to you but it was a bit hot, um, awkward trying to get it done so i had to just make sure the alignment was correct for the screw so i can screw them back in the right uh area where they belonged to so it's really about like um just knowing where to put things back and um that was the main reason why i took the picture from the very beginning so i know what belongs to what and which components belong to well i didn't do much of taking out any components really it's more trying to put the things back in the right place so as you can see i am trying to get the screws back in on both sides those uh side was three screws per each side and my nails were kind of bothering me uh, the next time I'm gonna be doing something like this I definitely have to cut my nails because they were too long enough and as a result of that I kept having problem like the screws kept falling out but as you can see I was able to complete one side and I'm gonna be continuing on the other side and this was pretty much fun for me as I um take and pull these um components are are parts you know looking at each object um it opened my curiosity you know trying to figure out what um the operation of it you know what connect to what um uh, which component is this how is it operating you know stuff like that it just opened my thought process trying to think how everything uh operates with each others so i believe that's why i got into this um industry here i always believe in processy and always want to think of how these things operate and so i'm just not afraid to open and discover um these components and you know figure it out i guess So as you can see, I was able to screw back those on. I didn't screw them completely on, just halfway, because um, just in case if anything went wrong, um, I didn't want to go ahead and have to unscrew. So remember that part that I had made a mistake with, whereas I was trying to pull it off and I couldn't because it was just one more screw that I had to uh, detach. And that little area was to help support the screen in the wrench area so that part i am trying to screw back in uh that was the the main part i was saying about um try to make sure you know which uh side those came from because this kind of it messed me up and it took a long time for me to try to uh screw back because um i mixed up the sides you know yeah and i was just trying to um 
rotate it the different side to see if it would um, screw in but I end up getting it I guess you know after you try a couple times each side I guess hey it just end up work um, this screw also it kind of bother me as well too because sometimes it gives trouble whenever I'm trying to apply pressure on the screw it just kept going in so I don't I have to buy um, the proper tools I guess because this kind of it worked it did the job but it just kept messing up these detachables um, screws I guess but for the most part of it I really did enjoy it um, replacing it and it just made me think a whole lot But yeah, this is it. I'm going to be um, connecting the these three cords um, that I detached earlier. I'm trying to put them back on. Uh, it was so super small, you know. Um, it was kind of giving me some problems too because my nails in the way and all of that. So um, I recommend if you're going to do something like that, if you're a woman, if you're going to do something like this, cut your nails off it doesn't work trust me i had it took more time trying to snap it i'm pretty sure if i had um no nails then my job would have been much easier but yeah but i was able to do it you know and snap it back on i mentioned before that the picture is what i took earlier helped to put me back on the right track as far as which belonged to which part And as you can see, the rubbly area where I had the tape, um, that I was able to snap back in, uh, in place. And yeah, I was able also to, um, to snap the 40 pin connector back in place as well. So I went ahead and I wiped um, the cover from the inside because it was so dusty. Um, you know, after a while when these um, PC run, they gather a lot of dust. So, you know, I end up wiping it and I believe you should as well to kind of limit, you know. And the cover for those three screws that I took off earlier, you can see that I'm adding them back to each side of where they belong. And I'm adding the cover back on, pretty much. And the eight screws that belong in there i'm going to be screwing those eight screws back in as well and i'm going to kind of speed it up a little bit because i don't feel like i need to um take up so much time showing how to screw this you know so i'm gonna have to speed this up a little bit because i'm excited to show you the end result The screws gave me some problems. Oh boy. 
but um yeah i was able to screw them in and let's see how this goes so um i'm gonna turn it on okay the light came up that's a good start oh as you can see the screen is on yay that's what genesis would say my daughter so i'm just adding in my password just to um get in there oh i think this happened with the shut off i guess but there you go good to go good to go so i did it um yeah i'm pretty much i'm excited so yeah i'm all good again thank you guys for watching and um don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up if you like this subscribe if you haven't already subscribed thank you bye